Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the bar hooks, safety spotter arms, and land mount attachment for the IM2000. We'll also be having an Iron Master apparel fashion show. Stay tuned. Here are the bar hooks for the IM2000. These hooks are really nice. The welds look really clean, and I am really glad to see UHMW on the bar side, as well as the side that makes contact with the IM2000. Here are the safety spotter arms for the IM2000. The safety spotter arms look very nicely made. A few cosmetic scratches, but nothing I'm overly worried about. You do have UHMW on the side that makes contact with the IM2000, and then of course on the bar side. The safety spotter arms fit smoothly and securely onto the IM2000, and once there, they're secure. The hooks also fit smoothly and securely onto the IM2000, and once there, they're also secure. The hooks have two rack points. I would be fine with just one. The load rating for the pair is 1,000 pounds. The slide rail tube is two by two. The lockout points are 1.7 inches apart. Between each upright, it's 43 and a half inches, and outside of each upright, it's 47 and a half inches. The safety spotting arms have a load rating of 500 pounds per pair, so 250 pounds per arm. I'm going to show a hack using the safety spotter arm as a landmine stand, but I don't recommend going very heavy to avoid any compromise to the slide rail of the IM2000. The Iron Master safety spotter arm has 13 and 3 fourths of an inch rackable space, and here's another safety spotter arm that I have that has about 3 inches less rackable space, and those 3 inches make a big difference. The Iron Master's UHMW sounds and feels like plastic, whereas this safety spotter arm feels like a dense rubber. Here is how my 86 inch Olympic bar fits on the hooks. Plenty of clearance. Here's another view to show how my bar sits in the bar hooks. The hooks are one and a quarter inches at their most narrow point and right at two inches at their most wide point. And luckily the holes are countersunk. The hooks and safety spotter arms fit on the IM2000 as good as I hope they would. Sometimes when you put safety spotter arms on a half rack, they're just not long enough. And I was also worried about the bar hitting the bar hooks during the path up, but luckily that doesn't happen either. Here's another view of the liftoff, the eccentric, and the concentric portion of the repetition. You can see that there's plenty of room on the safety spotter arms to dump the bar. And then here's the rack. The Titan Fitness Safety Squat Bar version 2 is about 91 inches, and it fits nicely on the hooks of the IM2000. Here's the Hatfield Squat with a little bit of weight. I just want to show that the plates clear the Smith Bar. And if I didn't want to do Hatfield squats, I could just put the Smith bar in the top of the IM2000. Here's another view to show how the safety squat bar lines up with the IM2000. I am most excited that the Titan Fitness Multi-Grip bar fits on these hooks. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it does work. This view shows that I can comfortably bench press with the Multi-Grip bar inside of the IM2000. Here's a side shot of the Titan Fitness Multi-Grip bar on the IM2000. The bar hooks and safety spotter arms are a nice addition to the IM2000 and by adding them to this machine you basically make it a half rack, therefore making this even more versatile. Here is the landmine attachment that I got for the IM2000. Here is how the landmine comes boxed, another great packing job by Iron Master. The landmine attachment can work with the IM1500 and the IM2000 and it is extremely well made. The size of these bolts are huge. This feels like a piece that will last me the rest of my life and beyond. To attach the landmine, I remove that bolt and replace it with the new longer bolt. Here's the finished product. It took about one minute to install. It stores away nicely on the inside of the IM2000. Here you can see the two pivot points. There isn't a knob to tighten the barbell into place, but this is 10 inches long, so it should be long enough to hold the barbell securely. The instruction manual says this has a 350 pound weight capacity but the website says a 400 pound weight capacity. The ultimate row handle and the landmine attachment go together like peanut butter and jelly. I had hoped that the safety spotter arms would basically serve as a landmine stand, and they pretty much do. So now I don't have to take the bar from the floor. I can just go from this position and do my squats and overhead presses, and then put it right back on the safety spotter arm. And I have to pay homage to John Meadows with the Meadows row. I'll be using the Yes For All Landmine Eyelet for this next exercise. 
Here's another hack using the safety spotter arms, the land mount attachment. I do have the Rogue multi-belt on, and I wouldn't load this super heavy, but if you just wanted to do something like high reps, I think it works okay. By no means does this replace the Rogue Rhino, but it'll give you that belt squat feel. And if I wanted a more narrow stance, I could use 25s or 35s. And then when I'm done, just walk it back over. Put it back on the safety spotter arm. The landmine attachment for the IM2000 is extremely well made and by adding it to this machine, you open up a whole new list of exercises that you can perform here. I recently placed an order for some Iron Master apparel and when this came, all I saw was quick lock adjustable dumbbells. Iron Master likes to play games. So it turned out just to be the apparel that I ordered. I got one t-shirt for the wife, one t-shirt for me, and one sweatshirt for me. These are all the same design. The logo is distressed, and there's the Iron Master emblem, like I have over there on my banner. Here's the back of the sweatshirt. I already have the gray one, and it was very comfortable, and I liked it enough to get it in black. And I have the gray t-shirt as well, and that was also very comfortable, and I wear it all the time, so I wanted to get it in black also. And for comparison purposes, here's the gray t-shirt and gray sweatshirt. For those people who think less is more, the gray doesn't have anything on the back. Iron Master has some excellent and very comfortable apparel, and I like wearing clothes that represent things that I'm passionate about. Like one of my favorite bands, Deftones, and one of my favorite movies, Sling Blade, and one of my favorite shows, Game of Thrones, but I don't wear this one out in public. It's time to move this operation outside and see what Miss Home Gym Hacks and Reviews and the Greyhounds think about Iron Master apparel. Here we have an Iron Master family out for a walk. You will see Rhyme sporting the black Iron Master hoodie with the Iron Master logo. Over here we have Fiona sporting the gray Iron Master hoodie. Fiona, show us that logo. Oh yeah, great job. And then the blonde here is sporting the Iron Master black t-shirt. Turn around and show us that logo. Oh yeah, all day long, Iron Master, looking great. And here is the gray Iron Master t-shirt, which fits right in all the right places. Here is the gray t-shirt and I have to give this t-shirt a lot of credit because it makes me look a little bit bigger than what I actually am. The gray t-shirt is 50% polyester and 50% cotton. This one is 100% cotton, so keep that in mind when you're drying it. The gray hooded sweatshirt is very comfortable and I had to run a couple of tests, but it turns out that this pocket right here is an excellent place for storing my Ronnie Coleman Iron Idol. Both sweatshirts are 50% polyester and 50% cotton. And as you can see, the hood provides excellent ear coverage, which works great on cold frigid mornings when I have to go outside and start my truck because my garage is a gym. I love wearing the Iron Master apparel and it looks like the Greyhounds did too. I've worn the gray hooded sweatshirt almost every day for the last two months and I've worn the gray t-shirt plenty of times. Both are very comfortable and they feel like they're going to hold up very well. And I could wear Under Armour or Nike, but I am just not passionate about those brands. I would much rather represent a brand that I believe in and show off a hobby that I am really passionate about. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you found anything in this video helpful, please consider liking it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. You can find me on Instagram at Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Also, I am an affiliate for PowerTech Titan and Iron Master, so if any of my videos have helped you, please consider using my affiliate links at no additional cost to you. Take care, everyone.